Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for October 2024. It is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on this month. We will clarify that, get some advice, and pull some oracle cards for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you will consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Okay, so let's see what the theme of this month is going to be for you. All right, so we have house two, physical security, possessions, material value, and self-worth. Okay. So let's see what tarot has to say for that personal security. I mean, everybody desires that. We know that. But this could be significant around the things that you value the most. And interestingly, it could be that you actually don't value material possessions in this time as much as you may have in the past. And you're realizing that those things do not... Hmm. Do not connect to your self-worth. We were taught in society that those things mattered for the longest time. So we've been conditioned to believe that the more you have, the more worth you have. And sometimes we realize they really don't. They have nothing to do with how we feel about ourselves, truly feel about ourselves. All right, so let's keep going, see how this plays out with tarot. Okay, so the Four of Swords is in reverse. I feel like they just said, open your mind up a little bit. Um, if you had felt like you were in your head a lot recently, I think this is a time when there isn't going to be a lot of overthinking. It's just like things are going to start coming to you very naturally, meaning I just heard worries are going to go away. So this may be a month where things feel a little bit lighter. Let's keep going. Where's your current energy? We've got the Ten of Cups. Great. So a lot of joy will, will be coming in, probably your connections in general. So the people in your life that matter most to you and the connections you have with your family are what are going to bring the most joy. So let's see. We have the magician. Oh, okay. And okay. So you're creating like this feeling of, or under, you're, you're having an understanding of what things matter most to you and the people in your life. And I think you realize that when you're in manifestation mode, the magician's all about that, right? You're creating things that bring joy to you. So that could be through your family and through the people that you love the most this month. So let's see what else is under that. We have temperance, which is your card. All right. So in this card, she's going back and forth with her emotions. And sometimes she has her, well, she does in this card, has one foot in and one foot out. So a part of you may be going through the emotions connected to the things that we've discussed thus far. Um, I think you're going to have a lot of patience with the people that you love and maybe your emotions are going to balance out more so in this month than they have been up to this point. We have, I'm releasing this on, yeah, today, which would be the full moon in Libra. So you can check that out and see where that is in your chart and how that might be affecting you because it's a releasing energy. So you may be releasing things connected to whatever house that falls in for you. You'd have to look at your rising sign and count forward to where Libra is and see what house that falls in. Okay, let's keep going and see what the near future. We have the nine of wands. So the other side of um, a, definitely a challenging time. I feel there's still going to be a little bit of, oh, I feel a little worse for wear. Um, there should, there could be somebody around you or you could have had any kind of a medical procedure. I actually know two Sages and one child is having a surgery and the other one has had surgery. So th there's healing around this. It's like, wow, I've really been through the ringer and now I'm on the other side of it with the bandage still on my head, but it looks like things are going to start getting better. Let's see. Um, especially around where you've been feeling really stuck in your head uh, if you've been feeling like I just can't break free, I think that's an indication that you're going to break free of some worry that's surrounding whatever's going on there and some of the things that you've had to overcome recently. 
Let's see what's under that. We have the seven of pentacles. Okay, so I want to say be patient around your finances this month. The seven of pentacles is usually a waiting energy, like waiting for something to happen and to grow. And if there have been, and there has for a lot of Sages, challenges around finances, or you just feel like you can't get over a certain hump, I was I would say be patient because they've got your card next to that card going this direction. And that to me would say just be patient because your waiting is going to pay off. So there could be some good news that comes in. We'll see when we clarify around finances and something that you've been waiting on. All right. So what you don't see coming. There you go. So a new opportunity around money. Um, definitely an opportunity for something good to come in with your finances. It's almost like in the universe or whoever is bringing this to you. It doesn't matter where it comes from as long as it's there. So it's an opportunity for finances to come into your life and it's like a gift. That's what it feels like. Now, could this be a new job opportunity? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you've been looking for that, you've been hoping so, and it just hasn't shown up or, you know, it, it took the full moon for it to finally, for one cycle to close out and for this to come in. So the energy is definitely there for that. Because in the near future, and then what you don't see coming, waiting on something, and then this opportunity right after that, that's a good sign. And then we have the Ten of Wands. This is an ending of a difficult cycle where the weight has been on you tremendously. So you've been definitely carrying a lot. This is the end of some kind of a difficult situation where you've been kind of, you know, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders or feeling some kind of stress connected to this being stuck in your head or stressed or worried about, and I feel like it really is connected to finances, could be other people. But no doubt there's going to be family around you, whether they're supportive, whether they are generous, um, whatever that may be. I feel like they're going to be there to support you and you're going to feel a lot less stressed out, a lot less like you're carrying a big weight on your shoulders. And then we have the seven of cups, which is good. Even though a lot of times this can be representative of confusing energy, it's really about more options. So there's a lot of things that are going to be opening up. You may find yourself finally in a place where you're open to love or you're open to some new emotional experiences, which is great. So if they pop up for you, do them and you feel good about them, do them. No doubt, because you're going to be a lot less stressed out, especially when this happens for you. I just saw the death card on the bottom of the deck, which is some kind of situation is definitely transforming. That's what that is. It's about death and rebirth, but it's about transformation. So something is no doubt transforming in your life this month. All right, let's look at what spirit wants you to focus on. We've got the two of cups in reverse, disconnecting from anything that doesn't feel like it resonates with you. And that could be people in your life. If for some reason you've finally had that epiphany moment where, mm, you know, I really liked this person, but I don't feel that connected to them anymore. Or if this person doesn't really understand me or get me, then I think I need to distance or disconnect. And it could be you that's just deciding. It doesn't have to necessarily be the other person or anything they're doing. It could just be that you don't feel connected to these people anymore or these friendships anymore. And then we have the nine of pentacles. The focus is more on you, yourself, your stability. Um, and uh, interesting. So creating this sense of I'm okay here on my own. Not that you're going to be disconnected from everybody in general. That's not necessarily what this is. Yes, when you go through a really deep spiritual awakening, there can be a lot of alone time during that period. But I don't think this is what they're saying. They're just saying, this is you feeling really good around where things stand in your life. And other people, you know, I hate to say this, but other people could be jealous of where your life is and how far you've come. And that's a good sign that it's time to disconnect. So under the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, this could be somebody younger that brings an offer. It could be that somebody saying, hey, there's this opportunity, you know, do you hear, do you want to engage in this? Again, it's around 
money and finances. So it could be a younger person that's helping out or someone who just offers an opportunity to you and they happen to be younger than you. And that's what they want you to focus on is all the things that are popping up for you, especially around that and not worrying about where that support comes from. Um, if you have a business, you could be hiring somebody younger as well. All right, let's see what the challenge may be. The Wheel of Fortune, feeling like things could change. And everybody's been kind of stunted during this period. So, you know, Pluto, like I told you before in all your readings, when it's retrograde and it went back into Capricorn, whatever challenges you were having before, as I mentioned, probably in your next 10 days, they may seem like they're just popping back up during this until it goes direct again. But things will and do shift. Um, I think perspective is everything for you this month. It's how you see things in your life and how you receive them. Because it can be, regardless of where we are, if it doesn't feel good, then we can still stress a little bit. So it may have seemed like for a long time things just weren't working out for you. And that could still be a little bit of a challenge this month. But I want to say, don't worry, because clearly they're bringing you in some opportunities. You've been waiting a long time for things to balance back out. Um, even though this concern is here, they're still letting you know that something's going to shift. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the physical security possessions, material values, and self-worth. So the Nine of Swords. So it could have been very stressful for you. Because if those things were connected to how you felt about yourself, it can really stress you out, especially if there's any kind of challenges around finances. We all need to be able to take care of ourselves. We all have to eat, right? But again, I feel like they're trying to ask you to be open to any situation where help may come in as unexpected as it may be. And also learning how to disconnect from believing that the more you have, the better you're going to feel. Okay. And then Hermit. So in this particular card, I always say this is shining a light on a version of yourself that you are releasing, right? Because the snake goes through that shedding process. And that just means that you're shedding an old version, like the wisdom that you've gained up to this point and what you've learned about yourself and what your self-worth is connected to or isn't connected to. That's what I feel is changing. And that's why they're saying that you know, yes, it could have been stressful before, um, especially if these are deep-seated feelings that we have that we don't even recognize. We just kind of are on autopilot because that's what we've been told for so long. So I feel like the wisdom you're gaining from that is going to help you shed this other version of yourself. And some things are just going to be less important than they used to be. Then we, again, that nine of pentacles. So you've had this twice saying what you seek most <clears throat> is stability and in an independence, which we all want. We don't want to rely necessarily on other people, regardless of our gender. We just want to feel like we can manage on our own and feel like we can stand on our own two feet. And I feel like the worry of that or the, the constant thinking about that is what is going to dissipate throughout this month. The, the focus is going to be elsewhere and because opportunities are going to pop up. So the Ten of Cups with the Magician and then the Four of Swords comes out. So there it's telling you in the overall energy that things are going to be released. Are you going to take moments to think things through? Sure. But I think it's just you're thinking more about what you want to create and how happy you are with the people that you love. And that the I want to, the, the memories you create with the people that you love are more valuable than any amount of money in the world. And I know you know that, you feel that because Sagittarius are so family oriented. So I think that's what's going to be most important. And I think you're going to have this moment where you sit back and go, you know what? I really feel this. I see this differently. Like I think differently now. So the magician with the temperance, we have the three of cups. Good. Because that's a, also another indication that you're going to be having some fun. There'll be some great experiences, um, whether it be with friends or family, but it's like there's this part of you that likes to have a good time or likes to be in those environments that feels really joyful when you are. And they want you to just be open to that, open to what experiences come in. Okay, so the near future with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. The 
Knight of Wands. So Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands. That tells me that you're going to start feeling a little bit more passionate. And they're telling me about life again. So if you've been feeling a little bit like held back and life just has not seemed very exciting, I feel like you're going to start feeling a lot more passionate about things. You're going to be getting out of that feeling of being stuck. Now, under that, with the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords. You know, when this comes out in reverse, I always tell people, because it can be associated with social media, is to pull your energy back from seeing what's going on in everybody else's lives. Sometimes we really do have to detach from all of those, all of that information that can be out there that can affect how we feel, how we think. If you can pull yourself back a little bit, I just heard something about comparing and we all do it. It's completely natural. But if you can pull your energy back from seeing how other people are doing or what they've accomplished or any of that stuff, it will really help you just focus on what you are passionate about and how you want to live your life and not focus on what other people are doing. All right. So what you don't see coming with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, the Hangman. Great. So that feeling of being stuck or just kind of floating and not knowing how things are going to go, that's what's changing. So you're not going to be feeling like you're just dangling around anymore. And then the Two of Pentacles. So with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles in reverse, yes, it may be a little overwhelming. You may still feel a little bit off balance, especially if there's an abundance of things happening in your life. And, you know, sometimes, what's the word I want to say? Okay, so sometimes it feels like a dry spell and then other times it feels like the floodgate opens, meaning you'll be so sedentary for a period of time then all of a sudden all of this stuff starts happening in a very short period of time. So it can feel a little, uh, not off-putting, but just throw you off a little bit so you may not feel very balanced. But I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Okay, so the Two of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. There's that Ace of Pentacles again. So twice now. And again, I feel like people are going to see that things are starting to happen in your life and they may be a little jealous of the opportunities that you're getting or the things that are happening for you. Spirit's really trying to say, this is your month where I, I haven't seen the Ace of Pentacles come out twice in a reading yet. So you're the ones that are going to be given these opportunities this month for things to change around your finances. So the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles and then the Page of Pentacles again on top of that. So they're really trying to get this point across. And yes, again, it could be connected to somebody younger than you. It doesn't have to be, but it could be for sure. And this can also be a sense of starting fresh, not starting over, starting fresh in the way that you think about your finances, the way you work with money or the way you work with other people or just how things look in general. So the Wheel of Fortune in your challenge, then we have the Hierophant. They're saying, please have faith. See, when, like I said before, if you felt like things were just not in your favor and you've had so many challenges, you could be in this place of feeling like, what's the point in having any faith that things are going to change? So you may still be tested a little bit until some of this evidence starts to show up and you start to see the change, which is completely normal and natural. All right, next we want to get some advice. All right, let's see what the advice is for you. What's the advice for Sag? All right, so the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. No, see, I think your enthusiasm is definitely going to be there. There's going to be a little bit more passion popping up. They're like, if something doesn't make you feel, okay, this is their message. If it doesn't put a fire under your butt and you don't feel really excited about it, this is not the month to push things forward. It's really about just regaining the energy of being passionate about things again, not necessarily pushing things to happen. There's that page of swords again. They really want you to stay away from external stimulation the best that you can and not looking into what other people are doing. I feel like I need to change my cards around. Hold on a sec. Let me see what else they have. Okay, let's keep going. And then we have the Ace of Wands because that gets in your head. For some reason, there's something about how seeing what other people are doing really gets in your head and it's like it almost 
set you aside from being open to the, the ideas that, not that you're going to miss anything that's meant for you. I just feel like it can kind of put a damper on your own ideas when you see what's happening with other people. Okay, and then we have the emperor coming in. So they want you to be the boss of your own life and your own energy. Get back into that space where you feel like you're in charge. So take back your power this month. And then the three of swords. And by doing so, it's going to help heal you. It's definitely going to help heal some things that maybe for a long time were really painful. All right, let's get into the other advice they have for you. Okay, let go of the old. All of us are still releasing that. Very important during this moon. Make the sacrifice. So there may be some things that you feel like you need to sacrifice. Maybe it's the people we were talking about that you no longer really connect with. Trust in the magic or trust in magic. That's going to be important for you guys, especially this month. I like it. I haven't seen that card in a while either. Share your thoughts with the people that you trust the most. And then surrender to the flow. Okay, do your best to, to surrender. Staying in our heads about things isn't going to change it. It's only going to make you feel worse. It isn't going to stop things from happening. I can tell you from personal experience. If I had a negative mindset, did I feel yucky? Yes. Did it stop things from coming in? No. It just, you aren't going to stop drawing things in that are meant for you. It just, you don't feel good when you have those thought processes. So shifting and accepting circumstances like the one card that might come out in the Lover's Oracle will say, accepting your current circumstances will automatically change how you feel. So let's see if that actually comes out. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay, I get another one. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So however that resonates for you and your love. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, those are going to be vague and not specific. I'm just going to say it. Obviously, that's kind of the same thing, vague and not specific, because it's going to be a little different for everybody. Okay, trust. Transformation occurs through... <laughs> they kept having me shuffle the cards. And then they literally had me grab a fourth one. I usually only do three. And this is the exact card I was talking about. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. There was no way that wasn't. And, and you could not see necessarily my hands, but there was no way I could have picked that card out of the deck. There's a lot of cards. So they really are trying to kind of give you that nudge to accept things where they are and open up to what's coming. All right, let's get your wisdom of the oracle. This is could, it could be how you felt for a really long time, where you felt like you've been kind of left alone or abandoned by whomever that may be or just abandoned in general. But that is a change. Fives are about significant change. So this is something that I feel you're finally going to be releasing. And then go the distance. Don't give up right before you about to hit that mark right um and even if you do you're still gonna get there so you could be 47 born on the fourth the seventh or the 11th and you could be born on the fifth as well so go the distance keep pushing through and then co-create because this is what you're doing if you're always focused on co-creating you're gonna know you're just gonna have that trust that things are gonna work themselves out and that's what they want you to focus on so you could be 40 or born on the fourth fours could be significant yep that's the third four yep so fours, four, four, four is about finance to me and good luck around money. So a leg up and that's it. That's the help I feel like you're going to be getting this month. And it doesn't matter again who it comes from or where it comes from. I just feel like somebody's going to be giving you that help that you need. So you could be 34, born on the third, the fourth or the seventh of the month. Okay. Let's see what we get with the... Australian Animal Oracle. The message is for you here. Okay. So the Praying Mantis, Stillness, 36. She could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th. Let's see what Stillness is. I feel like I just read this. 
Oops, okay. The praying mantis. So praying mantis is here to remind us of the benefits of stillness as it is in the stillness where we connect to spirit. Praying mantis encourages us to stop and listen to our inner guidance while being grateful in advance for the messages we receive. This card asks that you move into the still place of mindfulness to embrace the opportunities that show up, the opportunities that show up in divine right timing, stillness, mindfulness, and inner guidance. Okay, my loves, <clears throat> I keep feeling like I'm going to have a cough. <clears throat> if any of you have that little congestion in your chest, um, I don't know why I feel the need to tell you this, but if you can avoid dairy, sometimes that'll help clear up mucus because it does create mucus. I don't know why they wanted me to tell you that, but I am. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. Please hit the like button and leave me a comment. And again, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I really do hope you guys have an amazing month. Looking forward to hearing if anybody gets this stuff coming up because it seems like a, a significant change. All right, sending you tons of love. Take care.